Hello learners. Today, I will be discussing about one of the important topics in pharmacy. Yes, it's about pathology. What is pathology? Pathology is the science which deals with doses of drugs. It discusses about the different methods of dose calculations, various factors which need to be considered during the calculations. What is the meaning of the word, pathology? Pathology is derived from two Greek words, pasis and logos. Pasis means how much, and logos means, science. Before going into deep of the topic, let me clear the difference between two words, dose, and dosage, which we are commonly used rather interchangeably. Let us listen to the conversation between a doctor and her patient. Doctor, she has fever for three days. Let me check her vitals. Oh, she has a temperature of 103 degrees Celsius. Don't worry, please give her 325 milligrams of paracetamol. Can you please tell me how long I have to give her the paracetamol? Okay, let me explain the dosage of paracetamol. You give her 325 milligrams of paracetamol, three times a day for three days. We have to go with the blood tests as well. If the fever doesn't subside within three days, visit me as soon as possible. Let us recall. In the first conversation the doctor says about the quantity of the drug to be taken that is 325 milligrams of paracetamol. Here she talks about the dose. In the second conversation she says about the schedule of the treatment. That is, how much, how many and how long the drug to be taken. This is about the dosage. Where will you get the information about the drug dose and dosage? You can get it from official pharmacopoeias and compendium, official drug regulatory websites of countries, Leaflet inserts of the dosage form, widely accepted drug reference book. You can also get the information from trusted drug information websites and downloadable mobile applications. Whether the dose and dosage of drugs can be altered. It is important to know that, the dose information found in the pharmacopoeias and other official sites represent the average range of quantity, which is suitable and safe for adults. This will be considered as a reference for the posological calculations, and dose can be altered, according to the medical history, and age of the patient. Why we need to learn about pathology? It teaches you how to fix the dose of any medicament according to the patient's medical history. It also prepares you to adjust the dose of the drugs for the most vulnerable population, the pediatric patients. Now just tell me, who is responsible for the pathology calculations? Is it the researcher who discovered the drug, or is it the scientist who developed the formulations, or the ultimate end user, the patients? No, none of them are. That responsibility lay on the pharmacists, doctors and nurses. How to proceed with the pathology calculations. Refer the standard dose. Study the medical history and age of the patient. Alter the dose. Recheck and dispense. Why pathology studies are so important. Medical errors during the treatment are considered as one of the main reasons for death around the world. One by third of the medical errors are contributed by medication errors especially the poor understanding of pathology concepts. These errors not only affecting human lives, but also the economy of the country. Every year, huge amount of money has been spent on medical errors. So as medical professionals by paying attention to pathology studies, you are actually benefiting the society and becoming a part of country's economic growth. This was just an introduction to pathology. In the next video we will be discussing it in detail. Thank you for your listening. Have a great day.